This is Bill Warner with Pro Spray Automotive Finishes and in today's video we're going to be talking about spray equipment. Automotive finishes today require a change in spray equipment. We used to use conventional spray equipment with higher air pressures and different setups. Today with high solid material, waterborne and low VOC equipment we have to use HVOP equipment or reduced pressure equipment. There's going to be some slight differences in each one and we want to make sure you're aware of some of the things you have to do to make the equipment work properly. First of all, what I'd like to stress is approval. With the 6H rule, the spray equipment needs to be approved by the EPA. The next thing you want to make sure of is that if you're using an RP equipment or HVOP equipment, you might want to consider having it separate for solvent versus water, like we've done here. And we've designated that with a little colored band on the on the spray equipment. You don't want to have particulate from waterborne getting into solvent or vice versa. Also, making sure you use high flow couplers as we've mentioned before in our other video to make sure you have the proper amount of air or the right volume of air for the gun to work efficiently. Most guns are set up the same where you have your fluid and your fan adjustment as well as your air coming in. Make sure that you have a proper balance of your spray equipment for the gun to work properly. And whether you're using a full-size gun or you're using a touch-up gun like this SRI from DeVilbus, if you're doing spot repairs, these work great. You can also take these guns for spot repairs and adjust them down as well, but the smaller guns work better. Choosing a spray gun is kind of like choosing a wrench. If you take a Craftsman versus a Snap-on or a Matco versus a Snap-on, it really doesn't matter. It's a matter of personal preference. They'll all do the same job. They all have lifetime guarantees. And it's the same thing with spray equipment. A quality piece of equipment will do an excellent job and give you excellent finish. So what is more important is choosing the right spray gun for the right job in terms of whether you're doing a full size repair or a spot repair. For more tips, visit us at prosprayfinishes.com or see us on Facebook.